in this offering we are going to see copy clone and snapshot in bigquery let's say you have a table students which has a bunch of student records when you do a copy you make a copy of the table similar to how you do a file system copy to do copy with the create or replace statement we say create or replace table students underscore copy and we can say copy from which table students so when you do a copy it copies the entire data from the students table into the student copy table it not only copies the data but also copies the metadata information about the table and stores it separately when you are making a copy you you can also do a copy using a snapshot like using time travel we can go back to any day prior up to 7 days and make a copy so let me try creating a copy of this table as of five days back so let me call this students copy old and let me create this now if i query this old you can see that it has three records which is basically the snapshot five days back once a copy is created you can do any operations on the copy table like any normal table for example you can update the records of the copy table say for example students copy uh, set say name equal to uh, first name equal to ram where student id equal to two. so this basically updates one record in the students copy table we can also verify that using the select statement so you can see that uh, the name got updated to ram now similar to copy we also have another operation which is called as clone the difference between copy and clone is clone is basically lightweight compared to copy when you clone a table you can basically do all the operations as you do on a standard table the difference between clone and copy comes in the way bigquery stores the clone table first let us see how you are creating a clone it is again the same syntax as copy create or replace table cs dot students clone and i say clone from which table students so once you have cloned you can query it using the st select statement as you can see that all the four records are there and i can also make a clone using time travel as we did with copy so let us say i can do clone old uh, and instead of copy i will do clone and i can say make a clone of the table which was 5 days old now i can query that clone so you can see that it has only three records which is a snapshot five days old now the difference between clone and copy uh, clone and copy as i was mentioning is the storage cost so when you are creating a clone initially there is no storage involved but as you keep modifying the tables 
only the difference between the base table and the clone table you incur as cost. Now let us review the final operation which is uh, snapshot. The snapshot is a lightweight read-only copy of a table. You create a snapshot basically to preserve the contents of the table. We saw that in one of the previous offering that using time travel BigQuery automatically preserves the contents of the table up to last seven days. But if you want to preserve data which is more than seven days old, we use the snapshot. For creating a snapshot, we have a statement called create snapshot. And you give the name of the snapshot. and from where you want to create the snapshot students snapshot, students so this will create the snapshot and you can query the snapshot using the select statement now as i mentioned you cannot basically update the snapshot because snapshot is a read-only copy of a table so if i do update it should throw an error so as you can see that it threw through an error so let us review quickly what is the difference so copy clone and snapshot when you do a copy you are basically creating a mutable copy even for a clone the clone can be mutated. You can update the records in the clone. You can delete the records in the clone. But when you're creating a snapshot, you're creating an immutable copy. You can use time travel when you're creating a copy, clone, and a snapshot. Uh, and the storage wise, when you do a copy, you incur the entire storage cost for all the records. But in case of clone, only the difference between the base table and the clone you pay and similarly for a snapshot also only the difference between the snapshot and the base table you pay or incur as a storage cost a copy and a clone you can replace it using the create or replace statement but a snapshot cannot be replaced so you can only create a snapshot and if you want to recreate the snapshot with the same name you have to drop the snapshot and recreate it now BigQuery uh, also provides a schema called information schema which has all the metadata information about the tables uh, which is there in the BigQuery. So let us uh, query this uh, information schema and find out how the copy clone and the snapshot vary. So the information schema I have a view called tables and in the view I can query for all the tables starting with student so you can see here that students is my base table I can I can create a copy so again it is another table if I clone the table type is stored as clone and the base table is students and if I create a snapshot if the table type is snapshot and you also have a base table from where the snapshot is created. <laughs> so uh, we have seen that uh, when you copy a table you create another table when you clone a table you create a clone. Now you can also copy a clone when you copy a clone you create a table. So let us see what happens when you copy a clone. So we have this clone, students clone. So I can uh, say create uh, CS dot students clone copy and I copy it from students clone, which is a clone type. So when I do this, oh, I missed the table here, create table uh, students clone copy so let us see the information schema so students clone copy is basically it is created as a table so when you're actually 
copying a clone it is as good as recreating or restoring the table now coming to uh, cloning a clone itself it creates another clone so let us see an example of that so i will take the again the same clone and uh, instead of copy i will do clone and let me rename this as clone i run this so it would have created a student's clone clone now we will query the information schema and find out what got created so you can see that students clone clone is a clone from the students clone clone so a cloning a clone creates another clone and we can also create a snapshot from a clone or a snapshot itself we have earlier seen we created a snapshot from a table but we can also create a snapshot from a snapshot itself so let us quickly create those and see how it gets created so i am taking this create snapshot and i am using the student's clone to create the let me call it students snapshot clone and let me create the snapshot and i can also create a snapshot from the snapshot itself so i have a snapshot student snapshot i use that and create another snapshot so so let us again query and see what what is there in the information schema so you can see that student snapshot clone is created as a snapshot which is pointing to students clone and students snapshot snapshot is also created as a snapshot but in this case as we created it from the student snapshot it is pointing to the base table of students uh, now let us uh, review the storage cost which i have mentioned earlier so when you are cloning a table uh, when you are cloning a table at that point there is no cost involved the base table and the and the clone table are same so there is no cost involved but as time proceeds you can do some operations on the base table as well as you can do some operations on the clone table so in this example we have deleted three records on the base table but on the clone table we have modified two records and added one record and there is also a record which got updated in the base table so the difference between these two is what we will incur as the cost basically the three records which got deleted in the base table one record which got deleted one record which got updated in the base table and then additional three records which got modified and created in the clone table now when you come to snapshot the difference is that snapshot is immutable so when you are initially creating a snapshot there is no cost involved because the base table and the snapshot looks the same but as you do some operations on the on the base table like for example in this case we deleted three records and modified one record so the difference of these four records is what the storage cost you will incur in the snapshot so uh, this concludes uh, this offering where we have seen copy clone and storage basically these are three mechanisms where you can take a backup of the table and uh, you can restore it or you can archive it thank you